Oh my god, it's saved. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 3 of our Football Manager 21 beta save with Leeds United, our effort to keep Leeds up for this season. So just real quick, since I already had two episodes done and dusted, uh, was kind of looking ahead. So we know the full game is going to come out on the 24th, which means this series will end on the 23rd. And that's 12 episodes. I didn't think that was enough to do two seasons. So what I'm going to do is I think we're going to do only one season. And which means we'll do more more games this season and that makes sense so just wanted to let you guys know what i was thinking about at the end of the video and still a little getting used to right uh, because you go right into that uh before you get to the team the game overview you get that other screen that we've been looking at and it makes it hard for me to jump out and go look at schedules i mean because basically i have to go all the way out here you know like this i suppose it works but it's, it's a little different uh so if we take a look from last episode we had the big win against tottenham we lost three nil to man city they really just dominated us there and then we had a 2-1 home win over leicester uh, 34,994 in attendance, and we got goals from Mateus Klitsch, and Rodrigo got the game winner. Didn't it used to show us, like, the minutes that they scored the goal over here? I don't know. Anyway, still, you know, there's a few things that they've tweaked that I'm not liking as much, but overall, I'm pretty happy, but just, you know... All right, back into team selection. So we're going to put Rodrigo up top. Bamford is, uh, he is tired today. So we're going to go with Rodrigo up top. Harrison and Rafinha on the wings. Klitsch, Forshaw gets a start today. And Phillips in the mid. Alioski comes in on the left wing. Stroke, Cox, and Ailing finish the back line. Meslier in goal. So we're going to go ahead and submit that team. I'm hopeful in the full release we're able to change this screen. Because I'm not, not really, that's not what we normally look at. All right, we got a header out. Rafinha's on the run. Rodrigo trying to give him an outlet. Rafinha beats his man, lays it in, and Rodrigo... His seventh of the season, he timed that break extremely well, and he puts it in at the near post. Rafinha did a great job. As a Leeds fan, I'm really looking forward to him. He looks really fluid on the ball. Thought Rodrigo might have been offsides. They are checking the decision. But it looks like it stood. 1-0 Leeds here in the early going. So much like uh, in real life, Leeds are getting some finishes, gaining some points, and, you know, not expecting to win the league. That is not, not what we're after. And I don't think Leeds should be after that in real life either. Uh, this is more about just staying up to start building a base in the Premier League to solidify yourself. All right, Forshaw is really not looking fluid there in the central mid. And Yarmolenko with his second goal of the season. I want to take a look here at the tactic. Let's swap those two guys. And you know, that's something else I noticed. They don't have the circles on here for them. And we don't see the grids. Is that something I have to turn on? Mm. Roll and duty. Yeah, it doesn't have the little, you know, circle with the, you know, the green circle on it. Interesting. 
All right, well, just something I was noticing. All right, so they get the equalizer. That is not good. Yeah, this this uh, passing map, that does no good. All, all that's doing is throwing numbers up. You can't even see that. All right, let's give, uh, let's fire the boys up. And they did not react well to that. They were overwhelmed. Come on. Wide open there in the midfield. Oh, what a save by Meslier. And Ben Rama takes it out of play. So we kind of got a little lucky there. And we are going to go in even at half. Rodrigo in the 14th minute. We've held a 90% passing. They've done well as well. All right, let's get into the dressing room. We're not doing badly. Okay, start second half. Now, let's jump in and in possession. I'm going to drop that. Let's do mixed crosses. I'm going to take early crosses off. We're going to dial back here. Yeah, I think I'm all right with all that. Just change it up a little bit, a little bit shorter passing. All right, Ailing, Klitsch, into the box. Oh, Jackie Harrison, he gets on the score sheet. A header from the back post, back across the face of the keeper. And we take a 2-1 lead. That's a good job. Puts us up into sixth position with the three points. Hopefully we can hold on. That was a nice job by Ailing. Yeah, we don't need to, unless they're going to be, oh, they were checking it. Quite a few uh, replays there. A little bit more than we're used to in the past. Uh, where is my right back? Rodrigo closes down on the ball. Forshaw finds it. Harrison. Oh, there's a good ball into Rodrigo. And he's just off the mark. Setting up a goal kick. All right, we're coming up on the 60th minute. So Elioski's looking tired, as is Harrison. So... We can put Urente in over there. And we can put, I want Christo out there. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move him over and we'll bring Paveda on on the right. Like that. Like that move. Bring on the little spark plug. Rodrigo goes up for a header. United 5 0 up on Southampton. Wow. All right, let's give a shout uh, to Demand More. All right, that fired up a few of the players. All right, let's go ahead and make that sub. That'll be our third sub of the match, Jared Bowen. I'm a big Jared Bowen fan after learning of him through uh, Loki Doki's save. Last was it last year? No, it was the year. Wasn't it the year before FM nineteen? Look at that throw! Oh, Rafinha! Look at the touch on that header to control it. Oh, he could not find the entry pass into Rodrigo. There's a good clearance out. All right, let's come in here. Start to slow the pace down. We're going to drop back to balanced. They do have a set piece. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to cancel all those. I need to see the replay. I'm not sure what happened there. VAR is checking. 
Goal disallowed. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I do want to uh, replay camera behind the goal. Let's do that. Oh, that offsides looks so close. But look how far out of place Meslier is here, huh? Hmm. Wow. Little lucky there, maybe. Oh, come on, Stroke. You have to do better than that. Oveda, Rodrigo. Oh, good turn by Rodrigo. He finds Rafinha, lays it into Forshaw. Get in there, Forshaw's first of the season. Oh, brilliant moves by the Spaniard to the Brazilian. And then, uh, you know, the little Englishman just sits there for the cleanup. Nice job. Oh, beautiful ball. Oh, deft control. Forshaw makes the run in. That was beautiful. And that's nail in the coffin. 3-1, final minutes of the match. Let's give them a shout of praise. That fires everybody up. Very good. So we end up with an 11-9 shot advantage, 5-4 on target. Actually, we're, uh, no, we're behind. We're on the other side, dude. All right, 9-11, 4-5. We had a better XG. They had 22 corners. I am surprised we didn't get gashed for goals. FM20, you know they would have scored about 10 goals off of those corners. 52% possession. And we are going to praise the boys. A good win. Excellent job. All right, so we will be back for Man United momentarily. See you guys back here in a second as we've moved into qualifying sixth position. We're back playing top of the table Man United. It's nice to see that even in the newest version of Football Manager that the uh, developers and coders have not uh, lost their passion for Man United to keep them as a premier uh, level club, uh, even though we know they're struggling in real life. But, you know, just make them the best in the world uh, at everything in the game, uh, just because that's how it goes, right? <laughs> oh, by the way, at the end of the game, I do want to check out if Marcelo Bielsa landed anywhere, just, you know, because uh, in real life he should be at this club. But I had to Pick a save, and this was it. All right, we're going with Bamford up top. Costa's going to get a start on the left wing. Rafinha on the right. Rod uh, he was in the uh, Premier League Team of the Week last week. Rodrigo, Klitsch, Phillips uh, are triumvirate in the midfield. And the normal back line, Dallas, Cooper, Koch, Ailing, and Meslier in goal. I got an email uh, that said Alioski was a little jaded, could use a rest. I tried to rest him, and uh, he said no, and got a little put off. So I said, okay, well, we'll let you keep playing. That's fine. Stuart Dallas looking forward to his battle with Bruno Fernandes. And I tell you what, I don't know if it's just because I have just a few leagues loaded up, but man, it, the game runs very fast. Uh, it'll be interesting with the full save and more leagues loaded, what uh, what that does. But uh, let's see, De Gea, Harry Maguire, Pogba, Greenwood, Rashford, Dean Henderson on the bench, Dan James. Dan James should be on this side of the equation. Cavani, Juan Mata. Man. They got some players. We're on a good run. Go out there and impress me. And we are going to ask for fire up. I think we did ask for some tighter marking here. Nice clearance. Good job. Oh, there's a nice entry ball to Greenwood. And I think Dallas is going to be called on a penalty there. Oh, no. 
And a penalty. Boy, boy, boy. Who's taking it? Bruno Fernandez. Oh my God, it's saved. And picked up by Meslier. Brilliant. Oh, oh. And that put him up to a 7.8 just for a second. All right. They are, they are really dominating us here. Uh, let's demand more. We're going to go back to balanced. And we're just going to have to kind of look at this for just a second. I want to take that off. Take that off. This didn't save after last match, so. Lighter marking. We're all good there. All right, should be some tactical changes there. Maybe that'll help us out a little bit. Oh, nice. Well, I don't know if that was deflected or passed back. <clears throat> I'm going to say it was a pass back. Oh, nice save. Oh, there's Rafinha. Oh, the outlet over the top. He finds Bamford. And Bamford, with a nice effort. That was a nice effort. Sets up a corner. Klitsch controls it back to Costa. Into Rodrigo. Uh, and he gives it away to Rashford. Counterattacks on. Out to Bruno Fernandez. Che Adams. Could have been a Leeds player. All right, Ailing with the throw. A nice little back header by Bamford. Buy him some space. Rafinha into Bamford. Mm. Oh, they're even ridiculing Bamford in the game that it was an absolute sitter. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Oh, there's a good clearance out. McGuire picks it up. I'm I'm trying to look to see. Oh, Anthony Marshall. Fourth goal of the season for him puts United up one nil. Heading into halftime. Ouch. Let's ask for fire up again. Oh, Cooper's on that. Oh, offsides, come on. No, they give him the corner. Hmm. Come on, Leeds, get in this game. Tell you what, we are looking forward to the uh, Roses Derby. And Bamford, his third goal of the season as he finds the score sheet again. He has been in a little bit of a drought, but there's an equalizer, big equalizer, right before the half. Elder Costa picks out Rafinha. Rafinha with a nice entry pass. Bamford to the near post. Beautiful goal. And a much needed equalizer. So we're actually happy going in at the half. I think our, our tactical changes has done some, some good. I'm happy with your performance so far. Yeah, I just, you know, what is all this? Let's encourage him, see what that does. Okay. Costa looks knackered, so we're going to move him. I'm going to bring Rafinha to that side, and then we can bring... Hmm? Then I tell you what, we're not going to do that. We're just going to bring Elioski on up top. By the way, I did put this in, the fatigue rating. So that 
kind of goes along with their conditioning. So if we look at Cooper, for example, his fitness, he's not tired in this game, but gives you a little bit, you know, I'm trying to figure something out that makes it to where it's a little easier to tell here. I do want to pull off, I'm going to bring Rodrigo up top. And then we're going to bring Shackleton on in the mid here and back into it. Demand more. All right, let's go back into our tactics. We do. We are nursing a lead. I would like to get out of here with a point. So we're going to ask the keeper to slow it down a little bit. And we are going to pull. It doesn't pause automatically when you hit that, does it? All right, we're going to pull Phillips off. That, that's, that's like against all the rules. Oh, there was a save by Meslier. But he really looked dead. And so we'll bring Stroik on for him. We do have a corner attempt here. And right to Dan James, out in the middle of nowhere. Boy, he's got pace. Man, I really wish we could have gotten him at Leeds. That was a screw, screw job and a half by Swansea. I mean, you know, at the trade deadline. Shackleton finds Klitsch. Rodrigo. And Klitsch sends it wide. Oh, that was a good opportunity right there, I think. We built up some space. And you know what? We're, we're going to be happy with that. They had us on possession. We, we didn't end up too bad. Meslier, player of the match, he saved it for us. He got that point. That's all on him, right? Proved many people wrong. And then individual. How do I talk to an individual? This who I want. Um, individual. Outstretched arms. Delighted with your performance. Okay, it didn't. I don't see how it lets me select that player. Don't know. Oh, well. I guess we won't try that again. <laughs> all right well if we hit continue finish the day so taking a look at the competition we are still in sixth 15 points from 10 matches looking pretty solid eight points above relegation although we are 13 points behind liverpool in the chase 12 points i'm sorry i was looking at everton but we're only expecting mid-table, so we're doing well there. We're four points above Brighton for true mid-table. Let's take a look at the squad. So goal leader is Rodrigo with seven, Bamford with three, Klitsch with two, Calvin Phillips has two goals, four assists, Tyler Roberts a pair of goals, five assists for Elioski. Four for Phillips, four for Rafinha. I'm really thinking I'm going to have to get Alioski on the field more often. Harrison has a goal but no assist. He's playing well. Average rating, 6.94. Christo hasn't gotten any time. He's only playing a 6.2. Well, something to look into. Something to look into. Sam Greenwood got hurt. Okay, not very long. And let's go check out uh, Marcelo Bielsa. He's unemployed. Do you really think, well, do you really think in real life that if Leeds got rid of him, he would be unemployed for very long? Probably not. But, but knowing Marcelo as I don't, because I don't know the man personally, but knowing his history he doesn't just jump into a job. There's got to be a particular pull to that job for him. Uh, and if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, 
this is kind of off the beaten path. That's why I'm putting it at the end of the video. So when Leeds interviewed him, they, they went to Rio uh, to interview him. He had already watched every match from the prior year. All of his assistants had watched every match of the prior year. He had dossiers on every player on the club. Now, here's what's interesting. Most of the time when you hire a new manager, that manager comes in and goes, well, I need to get rid of these guys. These aren't my players, and I need to, you know, we need to buy players, and I need, you know, six new players that fit my style. Bielsa came in, and he he didn't really demand a whole lot. In fact, in the interview, uh, he actually was more – involved in talking about what he could do to help make the players already at the club better. So they only brought in a couple of players. Helder Costa came in on loan that year. Um, but there wasn't a lot brought in. And, you know, he truly took a squad that was a mid-level championship side and they finished third and, you know, were a collapse away from being in the playoff final the first year. And then with just a couple more signings, they won the league going away by 10 points. And again, with, you know, they did spend $100 million this year, but they did it on, what, four players? Four players? And, you know, all international players with the exception of Rafinha. I don't know if he's a Brazil international yet. But uh, Rafinha, Rodrigo, Koch, and Urente, those are the only signings that Leeds had this year for the senior squad. Everything else they spent in that $100 million was young players to go into their U23 system for the future. And again, we're playing well above where these guys should be playing at and well above where they'd be playing at with any other manager, in my opinion. So that was the thing about Bielsa. He doesn't just jump into a job and just a sneak peek for anybody that has stayed to the end of the video. One of my saves this year, I usually do two full saves, one in the first half of the year, one for the final half. And I don't know which one I'm going to do, but I am going to do a Marcelo Bielsa style save. It will not be like tracking his exact career, but it will be trying to mimic his pattern of accepting jobs and leaving jobs if he gets screwed over by the board. Uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the news there is, uh, very famous, right? <laughs> so, um, that's kind of my goal is to figure that out. And I'm going to go back and look at what clubs he was at, why he went to them, try to read up on that a little bit more. Cause I've read a little bit, but the thing with Leeds, he already knew about the club before he met with the board, uh, that went over to interview him. He was more involved in building up the facilities, the training, and making the players already there better. And he knew everything about the city of Leeds. He hadn't been here, but he had done research on the city, what people like to do, where they like to hang out, what their things were, you know, what what things there were in the area that that attracted the the, the populace in that area and you know he he's drawn more to the city and the challenge of the team rather than how successful that team could be of course he wants to be successful but very unique i you you've, i don't think i've ever seen another manager with his philosophy so anyway that's kind of a one of my two saves. I don't know which one we'll do, uh, but that'll be a journeyman style save of sorts, but not a true journeyman where we're always looking to move up. Sometimes it may be a backwards move if it makes sense and gets gets uh, the attention. And then the other one is going to be a solo team save, and that'll probably be the second save because by that time the uh, 11... Uh, or 22 tier uh, database should be out 
and allow us to start with a smaller club. Anyway, guys, um, let me know what you think of today's matches. We did get uh, the one win and the draw. I think that's a good result. We're in good form for the most part. And again, we'll be back uh, relatively quickly. Uh, I'll sit down and just kind of count out games, but it'll be somewhere uh, in the Crystal Palace. Uh, we're not going to do another Man United, so maybe Crystal Palace Arsenal will be the next one. If not, we'll skip to Fulham and probably skip West Ham and do the FA Cup third round. I just I don't want to do the same clubs again uh, so quick, if at all. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you don't mind and you haven't done so yet, especially if you're new to the channel. And uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.